Chamonix-based Blue Ice have been making the Warthog rucksack since they began, basically. And this latest iteration for me is the best they've done yet. I got a chance to use the Warthog 40 in Scotland this winter, not here in the Peak District with the limestone, which feels a bit weird with ice axes. And actually I was really blown away with it because as everyone knows, I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to rucksacks and they've got to be pretty good for me to like them. The obvious most impressive thing about the Warthog 40 is it's 40 litres, quite a big rucksack, but it's only 700 grams, so really, really light. But even more impressive than that is they've not really got rid of anything. It's got all the feature set that you'd expect. A really good way to carry your ice axes. It comes with the bungee that I actually like to use across the front here to put crampons on carries a rope well but it's got a really good structured back system as well with nice padding and venting too because sometimes it can get pretty sweaty on your back these lightweight rucksacks but this one felt brilliant they've used a 210 aerobic fabric for the rucksack itself so that's incredibly incredibly water resistant i'm not going to say waterproof even though it's much much better than most rucksacks but that's also incredibly light but really really strong as well so sheds loads of water stands for me back and footing up in thrushy chimneys but really really light performed really well so like you can see it's got a really comfortable back system and actually another thing that it's got over some of the other rucksacks on the market is it comes in two different back lengths that's really important for someone as tall as me but also for shorter people as well because some of the more niche climbing rucksacks they're not doing them in shorter lengths and that's really alienating a lot of people the shoulder straps are nice and thin but they also spread the load really well so they're not bulky and it's great to climb with but also carries the load brilliantly. For something so minimalist, I found the hip belt incredibly comfortable as well. So it's got the floating hip fins, which I'm a fan of, so they can be slid to where you want. They can be fully removed if you want. And the whole lot is only likes footed on here as well. So you could actually take it off if you want to strip it right back. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not a rucksack I would choose for cragging down at Stanage or, you know, Sport Crag or something like that. This is very much for alpine ascents or summer alpine, Scottish winter, things like that. Climbing with it on your back because it feels nimble, carries the weight well and will shred that weather for you. If you do want a cragging bag, I definitely suggest you check out the Blue Ice Moonlight. That's amazing. If you want to get everything to the crag, including your beers, take that. Going fast and light, take this one. So at 40 litres for me, that's sort of ideal for Scottish winter and this alpine summer because you can get pretty much everything in there and then when it's overflowing, you can put your rope on the outside, especially if you strap it on this way. It feels really neat and nimble to carry with no rocking back and forth, very stable. So the rope fits really neatly in this way, but if you're just sort of last minute chucking it over the top and want to sit it right on the top there, you can hook the rope over this way as well. So there's an extra clip there for you. A nice simple feature is the pocket. So even when the rucksack's full and packed, you can actually still access this pocket for sort of essential things like food really easily. And it's quite cleverly hidden under the lid. So if the worst of the weather came, it's really, really unlikely your stuff's gonna get wet in there. So another thing that's essential for me are these sort of side compression straps. It obviously carries the rope really securely in this way, but they are actually removable as well if you don't want them and you wanna strip it down. But also for me, it's really essential to compress the bag when it's nearly empty. Because obviously we walk in, particularly in Scotland, with big bulging bags full of layers and food and things like that. But when you start climbing, it's very much out. And so it's pretty empty in there. So they're great for compressing it down, feeling really secure and nimble against your back while climbing hard. The closure system on the top is really simple and easy to do. And so if you're sort of in and out of it all day or just wanting to be fast and not faffy when the weather's bad, it's pretty simple and easy. One hand, you don't even have to do that bit if up if you don't want, but it's pretty easy to do so. So when it's nearly empty, as you can see, it compresses down really nicely, really flat, great to climb with, hardly know it's there. And it sits up a little bit higher above my harness if I need it to. But if I want to drop it back down onto my hips while walking out carrying a bigger load, it does that as well. So like I mentioned, I think for sort of summer alpine, Scottish winter ascents, I can't really think of many other features I'd want on a bag. Sort of ticks those boxes brilliantly, might not take it cragging up at Stanage, but for climbing in, it's been brilliant.